Hello again, this is TransAaron38 coming to you again with another video review. And today we are taking a look at the new Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Waspinator. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. So, here's Waspinator in his big old B mode. Very nice. So, very wasp. So, yeah. Very nice wasp B mode. So, very cool. And first and foremost, let's take a quick look at the comic that comes with it. You got a nice spotlight of Waspinator Transformers Generations IDW. So just a regular comic. So you got nice. There's Optimus or Orion. My bad. One of the two. And you got Wheelie. Looks like Cup, maybe. I don't know. So, that's a cool looking comic. So, yeah, very cool. Set that off to the side. Let's take a look at Waspinator. Now, you got him in his Wasp mode. Very cool. Very nice. Very reminds you of the Beast Wars. Very nice. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I wish his wings are really translucent. <laughs> Very cool, and it comes with a little gimmick, like he's flying away. And first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to my one friend, the V Decepticon. What's up, dude? So, because I am reviewing his favorite figure. Well, that he his, he has an animated figure, but Waspinator is his favorite figure. And I just want to give a shout out, V. What's up, buddy? So, don't forget to subscribe to V. He is an awesome reviewer, just like me. So, check him out. So, enough said. Let's get back to Waspinator here. So, you got a nice antennas here. It's like really light plastic. I'm afraid they might break sometime. So, so yeah. Now, the transformer is very simple. What you want to do is unpeg his arms here. You want to unpeg his legs from down below here. Straighten them out. Oh, and also don't forget to take out his gun. And it transforms like so. There's one foot. We'll move his, his leg, bug leg up that way. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna pull this back, then up, then rotate around and up. I'm gonna pull his arms out this way. Rotate his arms over. Get it out of the way of his hands. Of his elbow room. I'm gonna pull this piece down. You wanna push his shoulders in, it'll split the bug head. And it will tab in like so. And there you have Waspinator in his robot mode very awesome figure so you can fold the wings up like that on the back like that so they have waspinator in his robot mode and you can hold his gun ready to go get bumblebot <laughs> so yeah so there's waspinator very cool figure very nice head sculpt. Even has his own mouth there. If I could get really patient enough to paint the inside of his mouth, be very cool. Very cool light piping going on through his head. So, so yeah, a very cool figure. So yeah, very awesome. For a size comparison, well, this won't be really a good size comparison, but. 
the other figure I reviewed, Rhinox. Yeah, very, I would say it skills okay. So, yeah, very cool. Better keep Rhinox away from Wasp and Air. He'll make him into Swiss cheese with his guns. <laughs> so, so yeah, Wasp and Air is pretty cool. Got some great articulation, very nice. So, very easy transformer. So, some people don't like Beast War figures, except for they like Waspinair because he's a bug. Eh, oh well, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, you got his gun, it's like clear plastic. Very cool. So, that's all I can say about Waspinator. Very cool figure. I would highly recommend getting it. So, that's all I can say about this awesome figure. So, I just want to give another shout out to V Decepticon. What's up, dude? And I just want to say, that's all I could say about him. So, <laughs> what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, this is TransAaron38 talking to you again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment on any videos that you do. And keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And don't forget to check out my buddy, V Decepticon. Click in the link below. He's an awesome reviewer, just like me. So, that's all I could say. So, this is TransAaron38 talking to you again. Have an awesome day.